All right, everybody, welcome to the DZ deck of the day. We got giant tribal giants, uh, all giants all the time. What we're trying to do is play big dumb red creatures instead of usually it's big dumb green creatures, but now it's big dumb red creatures. What is going on, Dan? How you doing today? Yeah, so we got Quakebringer, Calamity Bearer, Bone Crusher Giant. One of my favorite cards, Crystalline Giant. Um, I, I like the the RNG. R in Jesus aspect of this card. It picks one of 10 things. Flying, First Strike, Death Touch, Hexproof, Lifelink, Menace, Reach, Trample, Vigilance, or 1-1 one -one Counter, uh, the beginning of combat. So we have a little spicy interaction. Tundra Fumarol. Uh, if we use Snow Mana, which is all we have, Snow Mana, uh, we are able to get Colorless Mana that we don't lose until end of turn. We can use that Colorless Mana to cast basically a free Crystalline Giant. So we can go straight from removal spell to free giant. Um, also, that colorless mana, if we have the two red, it can help us cast an Embercleave. Um, it can help us Quakebringer Fortell. Um, it can help us ramp, uh, not so much ramp, but help us get the kicker cost for the Shatter Skull Charger. Let's pay, pay for some spells here. So let's see if uh, we can win with some big dumb red stuff. All right, and I don't have a sideboard yet, but I want to build one. I like this. We might have flying giants. Might have the old flying death touch trample, hex proof, reach, extra 1-1 one -one counter, double strike, all the good stuff. Uh, I tested it real quick while I was watching the Strixhaven stream on Magic, and I think I went 3-1 real quick and best of one, so it feels all right. Okay. Three drop, three drop. I, I do have a two drop here. All right, we're gonna try it. And uh, later on, we're gonna open Strixhaven School of Mages box. You may have seen it on the Twitter or the TikTok, but I'll show you all the goodies. Clear a little space on my area. All right, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Good old swamp on turn one. Okay, okay. Fancy arts. They chose this swamp. Oh. Yay. See, I, was, I, was, I, I got a little excited when it was a swamp. I was like, ooh, maybe it's like some uh, Eidolon deck. Nope. 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 Probably rogues. I did beat rogues earlier, so. I don't know. We'll see. Well, we now have crabs. But the opponent doesn't have blue mana, so I should be able to resolve whatever I cast here. I think we uh, hopefully draw a crystalline giant, crystalline giant, crystalline giant, crystalline giant. Come on, show me crystalline giant. Guess not. reason I want that is because if I do the fumarole on the ruined crab, I can cast it for free. What to do? What to do? We got Quakebringer in the graveyard, which is kind of good. If we have a giant out on the battlefield at the beginning of our upkeep, we get to hit him for two. Let's play our land. We're never going to do that. Not like in Shatter Skull. It might, it might just be Stomp on Wind Robber here. Save the Fumarole until then I can do that. Use the colorless mana, and then with my one additional red mana, cast this giant. All right, well, let's not let him untap and get a blue spell. Alrighty. The rover. Maybe I'm supposed to just kill the ruined crab. Maybe I'm, like, not, like, supposed to worry about leveraging this un... <sighs> this non-colored mana here. I just hate to, like, waste the non-colored... I, I just hate for it to do nothing. Ooh, not my giants. Not my crystals. You're spilling my crystals. Oops, oops, oops. No. Oh, this doesn't tap for snow mana. That's fine. I just need two, but I wasn't aware. For some reason, I thought the colorless mana was snow mana. No. Oh, it does tap. It does tap. It tricked me. Okay. I thought it was. I was about to say. Uh, stomp the crab. 
eh, just show it a little bit of, like, hey, hey, I'm gonna give you a little love tap here. Alrighty. Yeah, that's right. This card, you'd never see it played. I've never I've never really seen this in a list. Uh, I didn't say please. I didn't say please. Uh, I'm glad I lost the cleave. I would love to have drawn the Dragonfire. I would love to draw this Frostbite. I would love to draw that Crystalline Giant. Mill the bad cards. Hit all Quakebringers, please. Quakebringer, Quakebringer, Quakebringer. It's the wrong cards, opponent. Opponent's down to two cards here. 10k cold. Uh, I would save it. I'd save it. I'd save it for Strixhaven. That's just me. Getting this out doesn't really do too much. We can start getting some double Quake Breaker triggers. I mean, it looks like we're we're just casting something for four mana. I, I can do this for five mana. Decisions, decisions. I don't hate baiting out a counter spell with this. That's the only way I can use all my mana here. Uh, I'm not sure on the date actually. Hopefully they don't have Disruption. That would make me feel pretty bad. I don't think they're running Disruption here. I think it's uh, Drown. If, if it's a Counterspell, I think it's Drown. Okay, the old Thought Thief. Uh, I do like just starting to put some damage on the table here. Honestly, yeah, I thought I was going to bait a Counterspell. That's why I didn't want to do the Quake. Quake might... Like, if I knew it was going to resolve, Quake is probably the better spell... Uh, it's just one quake bringer in the side, in the graveyard, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. Hit me with the four mana blood. All right, that's two quake bringers. We're getting close. Ooh, that's a removal spell. Ooh, it's starting to look up. Calamity doubles. Whom do we kill? I could wait to hit Loris. I don't mind that. I have 26 cards. They only have one crab. Not too worried about the Soaring Thought Thief. Let's see if we can... Uh... Yeah, I didn't even think about Quakebringers helps up. Helps in this matchup a little bit. Well, they're not casting Loris this turn. So I think I'm actually just going to kill the Soaring Thought Thief that wants to swing. Also shrinks uh, the other... Uh, rogues that they have here. I like swinging with the cleave. I think we're swinging with the cleave, chat. Alright, boom! Ping, ping, ping. Quake bringer for the win, chat. We'll see how they block, but I, I like our odds here. It says vigilance. Spin three. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We got the four mana. We got the giants. We got the vigilance. We're tapping. What's happening when I start tapping? I know what happens. You lose. Put on the quake bringer. Hit him for eleven GGs. Now, they have an out, and it's exactly kill spell right here, but they didn't wait for cleave to resolve, or cleave to attach. So, we're not out of the woods. We're not out of the woods. They drew a card here. Oh my god, they actually found an instant. Oh no. No! I should have done the Faceless Haven, that way I could leave a giant. No! Oh, I couldn't... Oh, no, it wasn't lethal if I do that. No, they found an answer. All right, there's... I, I do have a rules question here. I'm not sure. 
the Quakebringer triggers if I activate Faceless on the beginning of my upkeep. I don't think it works like that. Yeah. Equip the land. Is that the fourth Quakebringer? No, it was a Calamity. Yeah, so they just automatically go to draw step. Yeah. Oh, that's a card. It's one away from lethal. Spin the three. I equip it. I'm hitting for ten. I said three. It's more than that. Hit for ten. They block three. I hit them for seven. They're two away. They have to double block. Well, they don't have to. I have to lose Loris. I'm thinking about it, but I did just draw a Scorch, Scorch and Dragonfire. I guess we force Loris to die anyways. I'm a. I don't want to say I'm worried, but they can draw another card here. So they don't necessarily have to block. That's why I'm like, uh, I don't know about this line. It just it depends if they hit a good card twice in a row. Will they or won't they? You can't win by blocking with Wind Robber. So, I mean, you have to block with Loris. I like drawing the card before blocks here. As then you know if you can uh, maybe save yourself for a turn. Because you, you can maybe draw something crazy. Are you kidding me? That's why I didn't want to do this line. Because they can get lucky twice in a row. Fuck. Oh my god, this is turning. Stop drawing good cards. How about that? How about that? Stop drawing good cards. Hey, man. I'm down to 20 cards now. They're up to 12. Yeah, I don't... Uh, uh. Alright. Seven mana. I could throw out two giants. I don't, I don't like doing that. I think I need to cast this dragon fire, honestly. We gotta get rid of Loris right here, right now. That's, that's enough of this card. That's enough of this. Uh... I got I got the Quake Bringer triggers coming. That's why I maybe should have just done the safer play. Just get those Quake Bringer triggers. <laughs> now I, I, I like the original uh, theory. They're cheating. Okay, I was about to say, did you really just draw a Drown there, like a champion? I died to a Soaring Thought Thief, but that's, that's how many, right? That's is that three or four? That's three. Nice swing with the crab. I like it. Trying to give me some more calamities here. Give me some calamities. GG's. Ooh, man. Pumped up. Giant source, we uh, deals double there. Tough. That was tough. They almost stole that. They almost stole that from us. But nay. 